Welcome back, Cheesy Minions. I have another exciting episode of Pokemon Snakewood, and as you might recall, we had to go through Matty O Cave here. But worry not, I have a YouTube video up of somebody uh, doing it, so we're gonna just follow what he does. And apparently, and I, did, I think I might have missed this in my original run of the game, um, but no, there's actually a really, oh, I have 99 Super Repels. There's a, oh, and I don't, whatever. Um, but no, there's a really good item that I think I probably missed in my first run as well, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, first of all, get up the... Where is my flash? Oh, right. My camera has flash. My camera has a flash. There we go. Um, but, okay, so I think I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm just gonna follow this video, which I'm going to resume now. Uh, I said resume. Oh, he must be talking. He likes to talk, I guess. Anyway, he's going up here. And uh, I don't know what he's going to do now. He's going to go here, and then go down, and then... Oh, an item. Here we go. Afro Ball. Great. I think that's actually a Master Ball. So that's cool. Thank you. And if you guys say this cheating, I'm going to punch you, because this is literally the worst place of all time. And I don't care what you say. Um, and now he's just waiting, and now he's going in here, maybe? Yes. Okay. So now we're in this one. And now we go up the stairs, and now we're here. And now what? And what is he gonna do now? He's gonna go down these stairs. Okay, sweet. And now he's going up here, and now he's going way too fast. What are you doing? Oh, I guess you're studying the walls. And there goes my repel. And now he's going way too fast. Let me pause it. All right, all right. Uh, I will quit up my super repel because I don't wanna get caught by any creatures here. And I, okay, I'm caught up to the video again. Um, I am not going to struggle through here. Oh, that's another item here. TM13, I like TM13. And just like that, we're out. Woo! I've seen worse plagues than this. I haven't seen any worse plagues in this cave, however, and off this video goes. Um, so yeah, that's Natty O Cave for you. And uh, you know, I, I know, guys, there's a few other little things in there, but nothing that you really need to know. The Master Ball, the 100% Catch Ball made by the Deadly Seven. Great. It's probably going to explode as soon as I use it. Um, let's go ahead and heal. And it's going to bounce for some reason. I'm just going to Brock Tomb you as you come down, if that's okay with you. Um, guess not, because you paralyzed me. That's rude. Anyway, well, your Rapid Ash is dead. And, uh, yeah. Magic's Claw is now level 46. And, yeah, sweet. Some odd-looking people turned me back. Uh oh Oh, oh, great, great. Speaking of the Deadly Seven, I guess we're about to go ahead and visit them. Um, so Magic Claw is actually level 46. Let's put somebody else in the front. Um, you know what? I don't think Jawface has ever been in the front. Also, someone told me something really interesting about um, poached Moonstone evolution, so I think I have a Moonstone. I might have put it in the PC, though. Um, but I now I'm considering that Moonstone evolution. Um, so next time I see a PC... Then there you go. I don't know why this tree is no longer blocking anything. But, um, apparently I can't even go up there. Anyway, hello. And here's the troll again. I used to have 11 Pokemon. Oh, good. Um, so here's a troll. We might. Which, this is Ugbuon, Ugbugoon, and yeah, there's just a mess of a creature right there. Um, I. It's just a monster. They cut, he, like he said, he cut up a bunch of different Pokemon. Let's see, I see um, Kyogre in there. I don't know how he got even Kyogre. I see a Golbat. That's Golbat's wing, I think. There's a Lotad. There's a Nummel in there. I see a Skitty's tail, Machamp's, one of Machamp's arms. Uh, may God have mercy on its soul. Also, I thought they're supposed to go, I thought there's supposed to be an increased priority move data stream. That's what it says in the description. Does it not actually increase priority? Because he went first. Always goes first, it says, and yet I went second. Um, so that's special. Apparently, that's just a complete lie. Let's go into jaw face. I don't even know. And here comes a try attack. Great. Uh, I don't know. Headbutt? Actually, wait. Shadow Ball would probably be stronger. I have no idea what type this guy is. Oh, good. It's cute charm. Why does it have cute charm? Of all the things this monstrosity could have, it has cute charm. Yeah, I'm going to try to figure that one out, except never. Um, also, this guy has some pretty high stats, and I can't tell if the AI is... Okay, he, yeah, he has good AI. Um, he has Ice Beam. He has a ton of just really impossibly good moves. Okay, then. Um, this is actually a really well-rounded moveset. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure what to do. Fire pump it, I guess. All right, I'm weak to cross jump. Well, crap. Am I about to get swept? Um, we might just have to do what we do to every hard thing, and I'm pretty sure I can take maybe one cross shot with Poached, because if it's a okay, it's both. See, this is why I didn't want to evolve Poached, and somebody asked me a while uh, last episode, like, why aren't you evolving it? And it's because its thing is just—it just takes hits. It's like it, it can't die. Um, it's it's like a Blissey with defenses. Uh, but I I he did point out that apparently the Moonstone evolution of this Pokemon is insane. I thought it was a troll, and if you don't remember, I'm just gonna tell you, it's unknown. So it's one of the weakest Pokemon ever, but apparently he buffed unknown to have these ridiculous stats. Of course you're gonna get the freeze. That's fine. Um, you're probably gonna use an item. So that sucks, let's use a snake oil here. Hey, he's not actually using an item, so he's just gonna die. Yay, toxic stalling works again, unless, oh, he has a lechy berry. That could be scary if he wasn't about to die. Excellent. I fell apart. Oh, it fell apart. Yeah, it probably did. But I already beat you. Yeah, and I'm just gonna get on my bike. And let the cheery music play. Uh, where's my revives? Or my, uh, zombie kook? Here we go. Eat some zombie kook. You'll feel better. You'll feel better after you do. Uh, let's see. Ah. <sighs> Although, a little bit of me always gets confused when, when I have poached in my party, or, or just egg in my party, because I always think it's an actual egg at first glance, you know? But it's not. It's, it's obviously a Pokémon. Um, hopefully there's a PC in the next town. I found one of the magic stars? What the heck is this? What, what is a magic star? Chocolate stars with faces, raise special defense. Because this is zinc. You know what? I don't even know who to give it to. Poached? Oh! Oh, speed! That was speed, not sp when. You god darn it, game cr hacker. S. Oh my god. No, no, no. Karkov, we need to be perfectly synchronized if we want to make the national surprise team. Yes, this was certainly a surprise. Except I was warned about these guys, but, uh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Going with arsenic? Yes, the cake. That cake with arsenic. Um. You want to talk to me, so I'm gonna have to fight you one, at, one by one. And mind you, mind you, the game has not given us a um, respawn point yet, if you haven't noticed. So if we lose, we have to go through Matteo Cave again. Just shows you the sick, sadistic nature of whoever the heck made this game. And no, I do not want to be... Not Zombie Kook, I want this. No, I do not want to be a sleep game. And I'm probably going to be asleep again anyway, because I probably can't kill you now with Shadow Ball. Fantastic. But, um... Yeah, that's, there's Shadow Ball for you. In the early generations, it made no sense because it was a physical move that lowered special defense. No! Don't do this to me. Really? He actually... Yes, this is a Gloom. That's probably going to violate... Obviously going to violate Sleep Claws. This is why Sleep Claws exist, by the way. Because stupid things like this. Fortunately, he's going to get confused. Of course, he's never going to hit himself. No, he's just going to keep pedal dancing. Great. Um, I should wake up next turn, so that's good at least. There, take an energy root. It's good for you. Ah! Hurt yourself in your darn confusion, and then take a shadow ball, maybe. Yeah. How do you like that? Don't, don't do it. Don't do the thing you're you're thinking about doing. Okay, right. He's locked into pedal pants. At least you know some mercy. You know. Oh, come on. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Okay, wait, he's locked into a pedal dance. Right, right, right. So he can't actually sleep me again. But he can do that. He, he can full restore, which, of course, get rid of the um, confusion as well. So, yay. I wonder if Surf is actually going to do more at this point. You know, it's probably worth a shot. After all the special defense drops. Eh, it does a little more, actually. Except it didn't kill it still, so... That's annoying. I'm just going to stay asleep, I guess. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Spawn your moonlight. I'm kind of hoping that you pedal dance, actually. Hey, I woke up. Sweet. This should actually be a KO. Because... No, he's gonna moonlight again. Gosh darn it, stop that. Just stop it. He's probably gonna sleep powder me again now. No, he's gonna spam moonlight. Fine. He's actually gaining a little bit more HP than I can do with Surf. Actually, am I even doing more with Surf than I was with... Okay, you're gonna pill dance. Yeah, you can do that all day. Die, Gloom. Die. Alright, now that that's over with... Um, you have a Vile Plume. I'm gonna switch out against that, although I still don't have a great Pokemon against Fire Type. You know what? Actually, I do. I have Eruption on my Poached. That should do the trick. Um, 
get erupted on, Pile Plume. Please kill so I don't deal sleep powder again. And it's not even going to. Okay, it's done, Spore. I can't be put to sleep. That's. You know what? I'll take that. And yeah, you can aromatherapy anytime you want. You're, you're still dead. See you later, Vile Plume. Hooray! So that's dead. And Poach now level 45 and trying to learn Explosion. I, I kind of want to because it's funny. But at the same time. No, we're not going to learn Explosion. Um. Anyway, Blossom is going to come out. Oh, you have a Blossom too? Ew. I guess I can try to erupt on that as well. Um, I thought you only had one Pokemon. No, not my evasiveness. Whatever will I do? God, I have to fight all nine of these guys, I think. This might be the entire episode right here, Dad. Just fighting all of these jerks. At least I didn't end up uh, getting uh, paralyzed. Frozen my paralysis, whatever you want to call it. Splendid. Awesome. You call that talking? Yes, continue. Yay, this is the most riveting conversation I've ever heard. Bobov and your Onyx. That's actually kind of convenient. Die. If I can't kill this with a Surf, I don't know what... I, I think I should just, like, release Jaw Phase. Anyway, Steelix is coming out. Uh, I'll stay in. And hopefully kill this with a Surf. Maybe not, though. It's only X2 week. Dang! Nabbit. Oh, he has Rage. Well, you know what? If that's what you're gonna do, if you're just gonna Rage at me, I was gonna... Afraid of, like, Earthquake, which you probably also have. Um, but on the off chance you decide not to, I'd really like HP back, because they're all going to fight me one at a time. So, knowing that, yeah, we really, really should try to keep my Pokemon healthy, because I don't have time, it's not, the game's not going to give me time to, um, obviously, outside of battle, um, heal them. So let's get rid of that paralysis. It doesn't appear this guy has Earthquake, or he's being an idiot. Either way, I'll take it, and, uh, goodbye, Steelix. And, um, yeah, Jaw Face now 45, and another Steelix. I'm going to stay in on the off chance this guy doesn't have Earthquake as well. Or maybe I can just 1-8 KO at this time, because I leveled up. No, I don't, because I guess this guy is more special defense than the other Steelix. Whatever. It's dead, and Babob has been defeated. And more splendid. You're seriously all going to fight me like this. Except maybe one, then we'll have more cake. <sighs> Gunkov and his theatrical assault. Well... I can, I'm convinced that the uh, creator of this hack really hates everyone. And here's this uh, Ken Chukoko thing. I have, I have no recollection what type this is. And I remember it being kind of tough, so... I'm just going to look up its type real fast. I think it's fighting something. It's the evolved form of that other Pokemon we saw. Yeah, it's, it's uh, fighting flying. It has 160 base attack. Dear God. 160, and I have no PP left for Surf. Um, I might have to use Minimize Strats. Oh, it a speed boost. Great. Oh, it's a, it can get speed boost as well. It also can get guts. So, I guess I'm not going to outspeed it anymore. I can just drop that right there. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. That is cruel. That is cruel, cruel, cruel. I think I'm swept. I, I think... I think... I'm swept. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? There's something I can do. And, and I don't want to do it. And it's going to leave me hugely weak to the next opponent. But I kind of have no choice. Especially since the um, data stream apparently is not a priority move. Where's my zombie kook? We need to intimidate it down. <laughs> it has plus six attack. Oh, that's right. Sky attack and miss, too. So that's kind of nice. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to waste time doing anything. If it misses again, let's get another revive out of it. Oh, no. Oh! I could have actually toxic poisoned it. Uh, and, of course, it's not going to miss again. We're either going to PP stall it or... Intimidate Saw, because I'm not going back. I'm not going to go look at that video again from Matty O'Cave. going to be joking me. Um, all right. All right. All right. Now what? More zombie kook. Yeah. Revive that. He's going to slash me to death, and he still can. You know what? Maybe maybe something weird was going on there, and maybe Data Stream really is the priority move. No, it's not. Or maybe he's going to... Wait, is he out of sky attack? He might be out of... Okay, he might... 
Okay, I think he ran a PP for that, so there you go. Um, oh, he's another one. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, belly drum, just do it. Okay, great, because you're dead to this data stream, I'm pretty sure. If the last one's any indication. All right, that is scary. See, this is how statistic he is, the, the creator of this hack. Stop it, seriously, this is just plain nasty. Um, you lose 10 points. Oh, great. Pumpkin fairy point, re oh, great. All right, hopefully this guy, okay, for Brava, I might be able to stuff some zombie kook and, and heal my team a little bit against the likes of this. Now, obviously, it might have a, a ground move. Let's go into Poach to can just absorb probably everything Vibraver can do ever and get some H much needed healing off. Um, there, take take a energy root. Yeah, you can crunch all day. Even after, even if my special defense drops to like the minimum, he's still not doing damage. Not with Vibraver's attack stat. And uh, there we go. You know what? Oh, you're lowering my defense, too. You're not even lowering my special defense, you noob. Yeah, well, we'll heal up the camera, too. Just to make sure everything's nice and healthy in case the game tries to pull that off on us again. And you know what? I'm going to try to bulk up strats against this. I knew the paralysis was coming, anyway. Um, There you go. Let's get some bulk up strats. There's a, a ground move. A uh, fighting move. Because he's probably going to have a couple Flygons, too. It looks like he had three Pokemon. Oh, dag it. Uh, get up that bulk up. Yeah! Alright, three should be enough. And then I can just egg bomb everything. But first, energy root, and then we'll get rid of the paralysis as well. Might as well. Unless you, you're probably just gonna get it back on again. Ow, ow. Although my defense is actually normal right now, I think, because he did get a few screeches off now that I'm thinking about it. But at least I have plus three attack. I don't think Flygon can even one shot poached at this point. Wait for Brave is dead, and um, another Brave is coming out, so he only has one flag on. That's good. He's gonna crunch me. It's fine. It's a special move. And dead for Brave, and in comes Flygon. Here's a Flygon. I wonder if I can one-shot those with an egg bomb. I guess we're about to find out. And there's the freaking... And I missed. There's the paralysis again, and I missed, and nope, not this time. And not gonna be able to one a KO. Unfortunately, he's gonna have to use that full restore. It probably has really poor ac um, accuracy, too. And another full restore! Why not? Why not, game? I'm trapped in the sand tomb. Good thing I've been hitting all my egg bombs. Dead Flygon. Can we, like, seriously talk about this uh, Deadly 7 or whatever? I can't go on like this. I mean, I really probably could. I just don't want to. Show us your Computank ability? What? Are you trying to make a pun on computer tank and um computants I don't even know what you're trying to do there all right Robotnov and your Golbat yep creepy old Golbat that's the Golbat I remember the Golbat of nightmares uh, that air cutter does okay damage lower to special defense too bad I don't have any more PP with my one special move headbutt it it does nothing all right um, who can take an air cutter? You can take an air cutter. I probably should have switched into you right now. So yeah, if you're wondering, uh, data streams, um, it's a uh, thing. It's just incorrect. It's 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 definitely not a priority move, even though it says it is. Um, I'm out of um, data stream anyway, but I think discharge should actually be enough to kill these gold bats. I probably should have been using that. Dead gold bat, and I assume you have a crow bat, robot nov. I kind of expecting, you know, steel types to be used by a steel type to be used by Robotnov. Not, you know, bats, but who knows? And of course you're going to barely live the district. This is what I should have saved that data stream for. But oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to suffer through him using Oh, or we're just gonna one shot it this time. I guess that was min damage the first time or something. Splendid! Now time for a break. Finally, eat this cake. No, it's deadly. It's arsenic. Actually, that's quite tasty. Oh, did please tell me that you, that healed my Pokemon? That'd be great. Yeah, did it? Did it? Oh, it might have. Hey, I have my PP back. You're not so sadistic after all. And that's right, I'm weak to psychic. I forgot about that. Um, can I two kill you for the surf at this point? Oh, you're gonna lower my speed. Well, that's a nuisance. So apparently, the arsenic ridden cake is actually uh, 
heals all of your Pokemon, even though I assume they didn't actually eat the cake. I don't know why I would even try the cake. Um, actually, no, yeah, I guess I do, because any alternative is better than fighting these guys. Whatever, let's try to erupt on this Meetang. Hopefully that will be able to murder it, and hopefully it might be a 2 KO on Metagross, which will be out next, and that's not even one KO on this. Great. Um... Oh goody, a full restore. At least it's using at least I'm forcing him to use the full restores on this Metang and not the Metagross. So yeah, small you know, consolations. Dead Metang. And uh what's the last? Yep, the Metagross. Can't even toxic stall this, so my last resort toxic stall strats wouldn't even work on this Metagross. It's barely a two AKO, and now it's not going to be because I'm not at full health anymore. He's probably going to... He probably has another full sure. The other ones seem to have two, so... Hey, I actually killed him. I don't know why, because he did some damage to me. Looks like barely a 2 KO, but... Well, I'll take it. No introduction. Here is my paranoia. All right, Sputnov. Let's take a look at your paranoia. You have an Ampharos. You know, I would be paranoid. I do have a ground type, but it doesn't have any ground moves. and hasn't learned a single ground move this entire game. I'm hoping... Someday. You know, I actually forgot to check that TM that I got. What is TM13? I actually completely forgot about checking what the heck it even is. Hey, I lowered your speed at least. Let's check right now. Can I actually access my TMs? I can. Ice Beam. Might be actually a good move if anyone can learn it. I might actually teach it to... I don't, remember. I don't know if there's a move I really want to get rid of. I guess I get rid of Headbutt on my, um... My what's it called? I think one of these guys have Dragonite, so I really should have looked and saw what that was sooner. I have no idea I'm going to kill this Ampharos, by the way. If he has, like, three of them. Because I really don't have any Pokemon that's good against Ampharos. I don't have any ground moves. It's probably been one of the biggest problems. And there's Static. I forgot this thing got Static. Son of OB. The good news is, Magic Claw can definitely kill this thing, these the guys, because um, it doesn't appear like he has any non-electric attacking moves with them. Because he's not doing anything. He's not using any attack moves, which leads me to suggest his only attack moves are electric. So I guess this strategy will work. Just rock smashing this guy. And uh, I apologize in advance that this will probably be this entire video is just me fighting to the Deadly Seven. Although, you know, to be fair, it's been the entire video of several in the past, too. And there it is. I'm not going to be able to finish it. I was hoping that that would put it in, in range of, of death. But not quite. Um, go for another Rock Smash. You can light screen all you want, Ampharos. You know, I'm just gonna keep Rock Smashing, actually. <laughs> Wait, how much PP does Rock Smash even have? Probably not great. I have eight of them left. Save some for the next one. Should be able to kill with a Rock Tomb now. Should be able to. Keyword. There we go, dead Ampharos. And another Ampharos coming on out. By the way, there's not even seven of these guys, there's, I believe, nine of them. So, they're not very good at counting, if you recall, if you're watching my snake would play through for the first time, or just didn't miss the ones where these guys appeared the first time. I think he used all of his uh, full restores on the last Ampharos, though. So, never mind. He did not. He only used one. Who cares? I don't certainly don't. Rock Smash! Love this move really don't, but it, it's surprisingly effective against certain things. I mean, the, the defense the, my, the uh, defense drop is actually a pretty nice proc chance. So apparently all you need to do to be off is just have any ground type. He doesn't even have ground moves because he just can't hurt them. Here's the man he really can. Can what? Can party way, way, way too hard. And let's find out which one that is. Vladov and his Tauros. Great. And they all have Intimidate, which is fantastic. I think I'm nearly out of Rock Smash, so... Let's go to Talon. At least I have the Resistance on... Of course he has Pursuit. Still does nothing, because it's a special move. Get Ancient Power. Maybe I can get, um... Rainbow Boost. That'll make this battle a little easier if I can get off a single Rainbow Boost. No, he's just content to thrash me and get confused. Come on! Rainbow Boost! Rainbow Boost! And you have rest. Could actually potentially make this a little more, even more annoying. Rainbow boost! Ah, oh, come on. It never happens when I actually want it. Here's my last PP. Ah, I have ethers, right? I have ethers. 
somewhere. Uh, I have an elixir. Yes! Probably shouldn't have wasted it on that. But, it's fine. Um, she's a hyper potion, actually. Oh, rest doesn't actually cure confusion, apparently. That was kind of a, too soon to did, and there goes my speed. Now it's actually faster, and even if I get a rainbow boost, I'm not going to have the speed advantage, so that sucks. Stop it! Please, this is torture. Oh, I got a rainbow boost, finally. Woo! But my speed is still super low. Actually, takedown should be actually doing decent damage now. Come on, man. And I think I have Rockhead, too, so it won't be doing recoil. Let's see if I can get one more rainbow boost out of these ancient powers. All right, no more PP. Let's, cut. Let's switch to takedowns. And there you go. Rest plus full restore. That's not broken at all. And it's still a 3 KO. And my speed is still down. I might have made a mistake of doing this. But whatever. Choosing Talon. Talon needs EXP, though, so... At least I'm gonna get some EXP. Or not, yeah, Talon. Um, oh, he's Mil Tanks, too. Oh, right, this is the guy that has... And his last one is, like, the new one. Okay. He doesn't have all Tauruses. At least that makes me feel better. Also, Takedown can miss. God, that was perfect accuracy. Guess I'm wrong. And this guy has Leftovers, and he has Bide. Great. Uh... Let's heal. Um... Here. Get rid of that. Store energy all you want. You shouldn't be have enough just from one of my attacks to kill me. I would hope not. Holy mother of god, that was more than I thought. I guess it does pay back double. Oh, you have rollout! Great! Literally the best day ever. Uh, getting Whitney flashbacks here. I don't know if I can actually kill this in another hit. He might actually be able to kill me with this rollout. Yes, it does. Uh-oh. Um. Well, at least I have the resistance rollout with uh, this camera guy. All right, camera guy. You can't data stream, but you can discharge. Let's try that, I guess. Yay, you killed it. And the last one is the Ram Shaker. I don't remember this thing's type, but I kind of want to think it's ground. Let's find out. Um, are you ground? Or just normal, like all the others? I guess you're normal, because you're using Tri-Attack against me. Alright. 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 I got this. Come on, Magic Claw. You got this. Um, well, I guess Rock Smash, right? That's what we do. Smash. Hey, this thing has a ton of defense. Good to know. I have no PP left for this move. Did it at least wait, uh, make this one waste all of his uh, full I think I did. I think he used all of them on Tauros. And Ram Shaker is dead. Great. Magic Claw's level 47. I really probably should... What's Shadow Swipe? It's a ghost move. 90-90. Huge critical hit radio. High critical... No, high. Better than Crab Hammer, which is, of course, a special move. So get rid of Crab Hammer and get Shadow Swipe. I'll take that. So actually slightly better than Shadow Ball. Almost there. Spectacular sponge. Then I'm down two Pokemon. What the hell is FWFL? Who knows? I just, you know, it's probably better just to not ask. And Dragonair! See, this is the Dragonite guy I really wish I had. Um, was a, I actually read what TM that was, because Ice Beam would be a huge help. Oh, he has Ice Beam. Good to know. Um, what do I even want to do against this guy? I mean, Magic Slaw can at least... I have a rock move for the Dragonite. Um, well, Butt Duster, if this guy's gonna be um, apparently special, then, oh, really? Of course, you gotta get the bird. Um, let's actually, because Dragonite's not a super strong Pokemon, let's let's use some zombie kook here. Try to get these guys back into working order. I don't, I have kind of lost tra or lost count about how many of these uh, ones we've already fought. How many of these deadly seven? Or Deadly 10 or Deadly 9. I don't even remember how many there technically are. Um, so, yeah. Here. Get that. My right ice beam moving to that. Still does nothing. Until he freezes me. Uh, let's see. Energy roots. 
Alright, this will be have to be good enough for now, because this dragon is just getting annoying. It's gonna proc me one of these days. Um, I guess just headbutt. Hey, that's a solid 2 KO. I hope that he has only one Dragonite, and he has two Dragonair. Of course, that wasn't a quite a kill. I thought that was going to be a 2 at KO, but... But Duster disappoints. Alright, that might be a 2 at KO. I think it just comes down to min max damage, which is kind of good. Um, another Dragonair coming on out. Alright, good. So, we only have to deal with one Dragonite. Um, and I'm hoping that Dragonite doesn't have Ice Beam. Because if it has the same move set. That Magic's Claw is going to have... And you're probably just going to die to it instead of being able to get off a rock move. Um, Dragonite's going to come on out. At the very least, I get an Intimidate off on it. So if it does have any physical moves, then that'll reduce that. And it's level 49. Great. Um, rock Tomb? No, he's going to fly. It's fine. I don't think fly is going to do much to me after an Intimidate. So he might not have Ice Beam, so that's cool. Get that Rock Tomb off, and it's going to be a 3 KO, but probably going to be worse because, of course, because, um, than that because of his full restores. I knew he was going to fly, by the way. That's why I decided to do the smart thing, get rid of my status, and wait, how much? Am I faster now? Wow, this Dragonite's slow. Magic Claw is one of, like, the slowest things in existence. I thought just I would still be slower, even after the minus one speed. But I guess not. And apparently he's just going to keep flying. Um, I'll just waste a turn cutting then. I'm actually really, really shocked that I I spent this after just one speed drop. Because Magic Claw has like, how much speed do you even have? You're, you're really slow. Yeah, it's like 58 speed. That's that's like nothing. But this Dragonite is also slow. And crap, now he's going to full restore. And I ran out of freaking rock moves. Let's see how much Shadow Swipe can do. And that does nothing. Do I have another elixir or whatever? Do I have any other thing? Um, you know what? He's going to fly again, so let's go ahead and use this turn to Shadow Swipe to get some extra damage. Oh, he does have Ice Beam! He was just being an idiot. Well, gee. Now I don't have to worry about wasting an item. Uh, you know let's go into this guy. Alright, let's do it. Oh, he's going to Outrage! This is good. This is actually good, because he's locked into Outrage. Um, let's try to... Wait, I mean, both are neutral, but I believe I have much more special attack. No, I have more attack, actually. Interesting. So, let's Iron Slam. Show you if I can kill this guy as he's in his outrage. So he doesn't get to use his full restore. Hooray! Dead Dragonite! We did it, guys, we did it. Maldov, now how many more do we have? Now time for a break. Finally, eat this cake. Actually, it's quite tasty. Yay, another break. Now it's my turn. Let's do this haiku blitz style. I think this is the last guy. He's giving us a break before the boss. And are you just going to have a team of three Tyranitars? Because that's disgusting. Also, you don't have Sandstream in this Tyranitar. Um, which I'll take, truth be told, because that would just be annoying. And you know what? That's fine. We'll get rid of your full restores on this Tyranitar. I'm going to outspeed and kill you no matter what you do anyway. So there goes the full restores. You don't have to worry about those anymore. Do you just have three Tyranitars? Then, lol. Oh, you're going to have a third full restore. Before they just gave this guy infinite full restores. That'd be awful. No? Okay, just three. Because you're the boss, I guess. You can waste all three of your full restores in style. Alright, another Tyranitar. Still without Sandstream, which is weird, because Sandstream exists in this generation. That's the uh, that's the ability Tyranitar usually gets. Which makes me kind of wonder what he what what um the hack creator gave Tyranitar its ability. Um, if not for Sandstream. Kind of curious now. Not curious enough to investigate. We're just gonna kill this Tyranitar. And wow, that Tyranitar took the Surf a lot better than the previous ones did. I guess it's, a uh, nature. It's a plus special defense nature. Anyway, Asimov is defeated by Jawface. Yeah, we did it! Uh, yeah, please do. Yeah, so you just wasted my entire episode. Great. Great. Great! Yeah, we're pretty much out of time, guys. Believe it or not, um, let's see, Ice fan, ice Beam. Um, the camera can learn Ice Beam, too. What about Ice Punch? You can learn this. Just Magic Slaw, which, obviously, it's a special move. Um, I'm kind of actually tempted to teach it to my egg. If I do the Super Evolution thing. So then again, Jawface could... It's like I don't need Headbutt, but I don't know. Let's see if I can, if there's a PC in this town. 
Got a Sunstone. Woo! Um, we're just gonna use this Pokemon Center, if you don't mind. Please do, please do. Do I have a Moonstone? I can't remember, or I'm thinking of Shiny's Emerald. Whether I got one in there. Alright, alright. Um, no, this is not what I wanted. I wanted my PC. Withdraw item. No, I don't have a Firestone. Well, that sucks. Actually, I don't have a Moonstone. I don't know where you get a Moonstone in this game, but we're gonna save it for a Moonstone, I think. I don't re remember even what Sunstone would do to it. I don't think maybe Sunstone is even compatible with uh, the egg. But, um... Originally, I was thinking Leaf Stone if I was ever to evolve the egg, but we're gonna keep the egg the way it is right now, for now. Because it, it's just that good. And I think that pretty much clinches it. Um, if I did have a Moonstone, I would consider giving Ice Beam so it has a good attacking move on Poached. But for now, I think it's better off on Jaw Phase, and we'll worry about it later. Um, then again, Headbutt has been really good, because it's mo it's a mainly... S you know what? No. I, I want it on something that can hit hard with it. Could get rid of Minimize. It's not, I, I haven't even really used Minimize Strats that much. And they never even worked, I don't think. I mean, what are you guys doing? I'm Tomes, and this is my buddy Shades. We're having a drinking contest. Um... Oh, I don't even have a rank one drinking badge. All right, I don't know what kind of quest that is, but anyway, we are out of time for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, see y'all later. Good day.